Hello students, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we are going to see the 10th problem in our exercise 8.2. Construct a triangle shadow similar to the given triangle ABC with its sides equal to 5 by 3 of the corresponding sides of the triangle ABC. Okay, so first triangle ABC is there. We have to construct its shadow and the shadow sides are equal to 5 by 3 of the corresponding sides of the triangle. Okay, let us construct it. So first here to construct the triangle ABC, the measurements are not given, right? So we construct with our choice, okay? So we will construct with our own measurements. Okay, first I am taking AB as 5 centimeters. Okay, so this is AB. AB length is 5 centimeters. So, for constructing a triangle, we have to draw the arcs first, right? So, now with 6 centimeters. I am taking BC as 6 centimeters. So draw an arc with 6 centimeters from B. And similarly, an isosceles triangle will construct from A also 6 centimeters. Draw another arc. These two arcs intersect at one point that is the vertex C. Now join AC and BC. So this is the required triangle ABC. Okay. Now to this triangle ABC, we have to construct a shadow similar to the given triangle ABC with its sides equal to 5 by 3. Okay. Sorry students. First of all, we have to draw a rough diagram. Right. So rough diagram we have to draw with the scale only I'm drawing like this so triangle ABC so now just observe this 5 by 3 5 by 3 is what is the value of 5 by 3 it is greater than 1 only no? it is improper fraction so divide 5 with 3 3 ones are 3 2 point zero three six uh, 18 like that it will continuous na 1.666 that means that means it is greater than 1 right so greater than 1 means the required triangle that means the shadow of the triangle is outside this triangle okay outside this triangle so if we extend it somewhere here a dash and this is C dash. So this A B A dash C dash is the required triangle here. Okay. So this is the rough diagram. So this is the main point here. 5 by 3 value is greater than 1. Greater than 1 means the required triangle is always lies outside the given triangle. Okay. Now we will see. Now, take the scale and draw a ray AX with some acute angle. So, if I draw like this, this is right angle, right? So, any angle less than 90 degrees is acute angle. So, with some acute angle, draw a ray AX. Now, in the fraction, we have 5 by 3. What is the big number here? 5. We have to locate 5. Greatest number among these 5 and 3 is 5. Na? So we have to locate 5 points on this ray AX. And the distance between that points are also should be equal. So I am taking here distance as 1 centimeter. See. 
or we can take two also with two centimeters distance whatever it is the distance must be equal so i want to locate five points from a right so this is one two three four and five okay so let these points as this is a right so a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 like this okay now we want to extend this ab okay extend ab similarly extend ac also like this okay now what is the number in the denominator 3 right so join a3 b okay join a3 b like this now we have 5 in the denominator so take the scale and draw a line parallel to this a3 b through a5 okay so parallel so the line is like this so just draw like this only parallel line okay let it intersect at b dash now again take the scale so draw a line parallel to this bc through b dash onto this extended line this is like this now actually we have to use set squares to draw the parallel lines but we can draw the scale also so let it be c dash now this a b dash c dash is the required triangle which is 5 by 3 of triangle abc okay i think you understand this steps of construction first a triangle abc is drawn with ab 5 cm ac and bc 6 cm next ra ax is drawn making an acute angle with ab on the opposite side of vertex c see opposite side of vertex c only na ax ray is drawn so that's what we wrote next in the fraction big number is 5 so we located five points those are a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 and how we located those points the distance between those points or equal and especially in this problem we took it as 2 cm right so that's what we'll write now so five points are located such that a1 a1 a2 a2 a3 that means a1 means distance from a to a1 okay so this distance as 2 cm no need of writing these two actually but we wrote next a3 b is joined why a3 b i told to you because this is 5 by 3 times what is in the denominator first we have to join those with the vertex join okay so a3 b is joined through join next we have 5 in the numerator right so through a5 a parallel line is drawn to a3 b already we have this a3 b so we drawn parallel line it intersect extended ab at b dash so the same parallel line to a3 b through a5 so extended ab at b dash next step we draw parallel line to bc through b dash it intersect extended ac at c dash so the same we wrote here see a line parallel to bc through b dash is drawn it intersect ac at a dash 
or we can write extended AC also. Okay. So triangle A B dash C dash is the required triangle. So like this we can construct the shadow of the triangle. 